the joint distribution of two random variables x and y x and y okay so the table they have given here and the values we need to find e of x and e of y e of x y and uh, sigma of x and sigma of y covariance of x and y and the last one fine so first let us find this one this is very easy e of x y the formula is summation of x i y j joint distribution of uh, i and j so 1 into minus 4 into 1 into minus 4 into 1 by 8 plus 1 into 2 into 1 by 4 1 into 2 into 1 by 4 plus 1 into 7 into 1 by 8 1 into 7 into 1 by 8 plus 5 into minus 4 into 1 by 4 5 into minus 4 into 1 by 4 plus 5 into 2 into 1 by 8 5 into 2 into 1 by 8 plus 5 into 7 into 1 by 8 5 into 7 into 1 by 8 now if you calculate this in the calculator you will get final answer as a 3 by 2 this is very easy now let us find e of x and e of y now to find e of x separate the distribution of a x column from this table and distribution of y column from this table so for x i am going to write 1 5 you can see here okay in the y column i am going to write minus 4 2 and 7 okay now here 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 so if you add all this you will get answer as a 1 by 2 in the in this 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 again you will get answer as a 1 by 2 now to find e of x there is a formula summation of xi into f of xi multiply these two so if you multiply 1 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 plus 5 into 1 by 2 is 5 by 2 okay 5 plus 1 is 6 by 2 so the final answer is 3 now this one in the minus 4 column if you add these two you will get 3 by 8 if you add these two here in this if you add these two again you will get 3 by 8 and here in the seventh column if you add these two what do you get you will get uh, 2 by 8 1 plus 1 is 2 and in the denominator there is a 8 to find e of y there is a formula summation of y j into g of y j okay multiply these two 4 3s are 12 so it is 12 by 8 plus uh, 2 3s are 6 so it is 6 by 8 plus 7 2s are 14 so it is 14 by 8 fine now uh, if you calculate this you will get so if you add this you will get 8 by 8 8 by 8 means it is 1 now e of y is nothing but mu of y e of x is nothing but mu of x okay let us find this now now uh, sigma x whole square is equal to e x square minus uh, mean of x square now there is a table here since it is a x square this is x one square is one into one by two one into one by two plus phi square into 1 by 2 this is your e of x square minus uh, mu of x that is mean how much did we get mean we have got 3 so if you calculate this you will get 13 minus 3 square is 9 so the answer is 4 but this is okay so if you take square root of 4 then you will get 2 
Now coming to this side, uh, e of y square. So my minus 4 square is 16 into 3 by 8 plus 2 square is 4 into 3 by 8 plus 7 square is 49 into 2 by 8. Okay, uh, mean square of y we have got is 1 square. Okay, so if you uh, calculate this, you will get 79 by 4. 1 square is 1. If you take LCM of this, you will get 75 by 4. This is square. We want square root of this will be 4.33. Now this is the formula for covariance e of xy minus mean of x mean of y e of xy uh, we have done uh, initially so the answer was 3 by 2 minus uh, mean of x is 3 mean of y is 1 now 3 2 is 6 uh, 3 minus 6 will be minus 3 by 2. If you calculate this in calculator, you will get this answer. Now, substituting this value here. So, uh, rho of x, y is equal to covariance of x, y divided by uh, standard deviation of x, standard deviation of y. So, here I am going to write minus 3 upon 2 and uh, standard deviation of x, we have got 2 and standard deviation of y, we have got 4.33. If you calculate this, you will get from the calculator minus 0 0.1732. This completes your entire answer.